What's up guys? Got the trailer hooked to the truck and an envelope full of money. So you know bad life decisions are being made right now. But we ain't got too far to go. Jump in here and show you what we're gonna go get. Poor life decisions. Oh, man. This is what we got going on. This is a convertible 300ZX that apparently somebody rolled or something. I'm not even sure what happened to it. Uh, which is basically I just picked up for scrap. I was kind of going to back out on the deal. It's got like all kind of stuff in it. <laughs> like a transmission for like who knows what all kind of junk which we're about to take this to the scrap yard I'm gonna get like one or two parts off of it for the other car got like a whole another front end some bumper covers that are like trash so and I'll probably steal the rear end out from under this thing too just to have a spare but this is the car I went to go look at I was only interested because it had a roll cage already in it but the roll cage is kind of crap so i was going to back out on the deal and the guy threw the other car in so i figured why not paid 600 bucks for the for the pair uh, this car right here has it's a turbo 2 or not turbo 2 rx7 guy it's a turbo car um, has the hikus delete or whatever Oil overs. So it has some good stuff. Like so just the roll cage is kind of crap. The the back part of the cage is not not bad. It can be tucked up a little more. But the problem is the halo. It's it's like right in front of like the the driver almost. It's like crazy. So, yeah. So for 600 bucks, I couldn't say no, I don't guess. I just kind of wish I did. Immediate buyer's regret. <laughs> but it had a, uh, I don't know which one, but it had an RB in it. They got like some kind of weird cross member mod going on here. But I got the mounts for it. So I might try to sell that thing off to somebody. Probably gonna try to sell the whole car. Just because I don't want to get distracted. I want to finish the two FDs. But yeah, picked it up in mind thinking that I could do the V was it VH? Is that VH45? But like I said don't really want to get distracted so I'm probably just gonna clean it up and sell it off but we'll see if nobody wants to buy it I'll probably cut the halo out of the cage just kind of cut it loose right there and cut it up cut it off right here and uh, redo the front part of the cage and try to find me a uh, whatever that Nissan V8 is I'm pretty sure it's the VH45. I do that and throw that in here. But really hoping it sells. Kind of curious to see what I get for this thing and it's for scrap. Should be a good bit though. Cause it, I could tell when I was pulling with my truck, it's it is just loaded full of stuff. I mean, surely it's gonna bring 200 bucks. Like I said, since I only paid 600 for the two, I don't think that's too bad. We both have clear titles. This car right here being a non-turbo, of course, but the other one's actually a real turbo car. It's kind of sad to see one of those in uh, that kind of shape. 
because I've always been a fan of the uh, the 300ZX. So. Yep, I'm going to drop this rear subframe and everything. Go ahead and get it out of there. Because like I said, I think that'll probably add value to the other car. Having some some extra suspension parts to go with it. But this this thing is kind of rusty. Oh goodness. But anyway. Yeah, we'll drop that thing out of there. And take this thing on to the scrapyard. And we'll see. If it sells, I'd be be really happy about it. But if it doesn't. We'll do something with it one of these days. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this quick little video of me wasting time and money. But, we'll see you on the next one. That's a lot of junk. <laughs>